All right, good morning, YouTube. We have the beautiful, big-breasted April with me. And uh, we're gonna talk about, are you getting the right oil when you go for an oil change? And we're just gonna say the dealership, or the dealership, you can say that. Right, so they, they say your, your vehicle could take multiple different viscosity oils based upon climate and abuse. Do you know that? The oil that you use, the oil that you use in your vehicle is based upon climate and abuse. Really? Yeah. So certain oils work better in colder climates than hotter climates. And certain oils perform better um, in lower mileage intervals than they do in higher mileage in intervals. So if you're driving the crap out of your car, that's severe abuse, right? You're a weed delivery driver, pizza driver, Amazon driver, mailman, commercial, taxi people, Uber, Lyft. Your vehicle is in the high abuse. So if you're just an oil change drifter customer, which I'll call that, right? You, you hit a you hit a quick loop, you hit a quick loop, you hit uh, Valvoline, you hit uh, Walmart, you hit the cheapest guy on the block, cheapest guy in the next town, whatever the case may be, and they don't know you, they don't know your vehicle, and they don't care. They could be putting the wrong oil in your vehicle. Um, planned, right? If they're having a special, they're going to say, all right, well, we're going to put the cheapest crap in this customer's car. Could be. Or they don't know your vehicle's uh, engine that well. They don't know your driving habits that well. Therefore, you're not getting the correct oil for your vehicle usage. And, and what stemmed this is viscosity breakdown. Um, so you have senior citizens or, or people who are older who don't drive much. Your engine oil really isn't breaking down, but you should still be servicing it every three months or 3,000 miles, whichever comes first. And for moisture reasons and uh, uh, probably more for moisture than anything. And oil does become uh, very acidic as it wears, you know, and the acids eat at the metals um, in your engine. So. How do you know you're getting the right oil? Well, you'd have to have a guy that knows the, the, that vehicle, right? He has to know the abuse or your driving habits to say, hey, you shouldn't be using 020 or 030 or 1050 or whatever the case may be. You should be using this oil and you should be changing it more frequently than ever. Um, so yeah, so how do you know if you're getting the right oil? I mean, that's, that's a... That's a uh, a slippery scope and believe it or not certain oils and we're talking about engines that aren't garbage that are barely running um, or have you know extreme blow by conditions and carbon valves and not tuned up and check engine lights on we're talking about an engine that's well maintained in good condition isn't sludgy or gummy tune ups fuel injection everything's been done to the car if you put the wrong oil in your vehicle and say you live in California, and then you move to Antarctica. You're not gonna be using the same engine oil from your Florida climate that you're gonna be using in Antarctica. And then also, it does affect power and economy. So that is, is, is a big thing also. And you know, I don't think you can really say that you are getting the right oil they just say okay we'll use this oil uh, for these um, temperature ranges right but it doesn't really say it doesn't is the customer an animal driver and what's that mean he gets in his car and he's wide open throttle everywhere he goes you know or is he the type of person that gets up goes to Wawa for coffee or you know whatever your favorite convenience store is and sits there and watches Pornhub for three hours at the vehicle <laughs> idling, right? Because that's not good for your car, too. So, how, you know, how do you know you're getting the right oil? Um, and to be honest with you, it is is a little science to it and experiment. Um, but how do you know? You, you, 
can't today, you can't just say one oil is for every vehicle because those days are gone. And I don't think that was really the case uh, back in, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s um, as it is today that you could get away with it more in the old on the older technology engines. And today, there is, uh, there's prices to pay if you're not using the correct oils for your engines um, with, uh, with, for many things. So, you know, fuel dilution and how that engine handles fuel dilution um, and oil handles the fuel dilution, meaning it's breaking down the viscosity from blow-by and fuel getting into the oil. You know, how do you know how bad that really is if you don't know your car and engine? You know, it's an experiment. And, and that's why I always say 3,000 miles. Um, I've seen some YouTubers out here, followers that say, hey, I'm doing it 2,500 miles and I'm having excellent success. You know, oil's cheap. Uh, engines and engine repair is definitely not. But yeah, so this is, how do you know you're getting the right oil for your car? I, I say this, the right, the right oil, the right service at the right price. So that means every individual vehicle here, right? Volkswagen, Acura, Mitsubishi, Toyota Sequoia is it, you're talking all different blends of oil minimum requirements for normal driving conditions so I'm gonna tell you right now we're cruising 72 miles an hour this is not normal engine conditions for a vehicle they don't design your vehicle to run 70 80 90 miles an hour there's a certain sweet spot of efficiency for every vehicle so this car may be 65 or 60 or 50 or, you know, the, the faster you go, the more wind resistance is put on your vehicle, the more that it takes for you to, to push through that. Makes sense. So, yeah. So everybody out here is using their vehicle, in my opinion, above normal operating standards. And certain engine oils don't perform well in engines that run hot versus engines that run cooler. And for emissions purposes in the last 10, probably 20 years, you know, most cars now run at 215, 220, like it don't take much for you to overheat today's vehicles because they're running on the ragged edge just like a race car. And you can't manipulate engine coolant temperature sensor, engine coolant temps on newer vehicles uh, because you'll, you'll, you'll get a check engine light, they'll say, hey, uh, you, you'll, they'll throw a code for thermostat issues or engine cooling below regulating. So, and certain oils operate at different uh, engine temperatures. So, like I said, if you're in California and it's hot all the time or the desert, you know, you need an oil that performs in extreme conditions. And then if you go to, you know, a, a climate to where it's negative temperatures all the time, um, you need an oil that performs uh, in those and, and, and that criteria, if you follow me. So, but how do you know? I'm telling you, you're going to go to, to a quick loop, and a majority of these shops and even dealerships, they don't know you. They don't know your driving condition. It's spill and fill, try and upsell you on things you may or may not need or maintenance that you may or may not need. And then, you know, slap an oil sticker in your window if you're lucky, reset your maintenance light, and send you on your way. And then next time you see that car back, it's eight or 10,000 miles past your 3,000 mile oil change sticker or 5,000 mile oil change sticker and the engine's two or three quarts low on oil with no oil leaks. So, thanks for watching.